Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Informatica World 2016. Brought to you by Informatica. Now, here are your hosts, John Furrier and Peter Burris. Okay, hello everyone, we are here live in San Francisco for theCUBE's coverage of Informatica World exclusive coverage from SiliconANGLE Media's theCUBE. I'm John Furrier, my co-host, General Manager of Wikibon, and Head of Research for SiliconANGLE Media, Peter Burris. This is theCUBE. We extract the signal from the noise at all the top tech events. Our next guest is Debbie O'Brien, Vice President of Global Communications Informatica. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, it's great to be here. So great kickoff here, um, packed house. Uh, Moscone West, which is great, it's not mm -hmm. Las Vegas, so we can go there, we'll be, yeah. there. We'll be in, there in a couple weeks, but you guys are really putting data to work. Really mm -hmm. the theme here is all about the data, abstracting away the complexities around the database, all the kind of plumbing, if you will, of the traditional Informatica value proposition. A lot's happened since our last year at Informatica World. Give us a quick update. The event, attendees, the agenda, what are some of the announcements? Yeah, this is our 17th annual Informatica World, so it's great to be in our hometown in San Francisco and at Moscone West. Nice change from Vegas for a while. And we are uh, at 3,000 attendees, which is uh, fantastic for us, so lots of good energy. Uh, the theme of the conference is Data Powers Business. Uh, we have um, keynote speakers um, that range from our, our CEO and uh, our CPO and our CMO, so I'll go through that a little bit, but also we have 1,500 sessions here. Um, great, great energy and buzz, and yeah, Informatica, it's been a, a big change over the last year. What's the top theme for the event here? I mean, obviously every show has the event, I'm mean, obviously data, I'm kind of oversimplifying it, but there's a certain cadence of types of announcements. What is that core theme? Yeah, so it's all around data powers business. So we are really positioned as a, a billion dollar scrappy startup for the Silicon Valley, and it's been great for us going private. Um, we have a lot more flexibility to transition to the cloud and to offer great, great products there. We've got deep, deep partnerships with Salesforce and Amazon, AWS, so you'll be seeing more announcements um, on that front. And the keynotes, give us a quick highlight of the quick keynotes. Neil and Jim, what did they talk about? What was the key message? Actually self-service, you're seeing mm -hmm. that, powering business. What does that actually mean? Yeah, and Neil really focused on, we're at uh, data 3.0 right now. So we've evolved from 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. So really it's uh, bridging the digital divide between business and IT, bringing folks together a lot more self-service with data. So um, it's focused on data democratization as well. What can people expect this week here at Informatica? We had a great lineup, we got two days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage here on theCUBE. Luminaries, uh, Jim Held, among others, top executives, customers. Uh, what are we going to hear? So you're going to hear a lot of great talk. Um, I think we've got seven customers on. So it's how they're transitioning their business and really putting data at the heart of everything they do. So uh, again, data used to be in the bowels of IT. Now business users are expecting it at their fingertips. So we announced an expanded partnership with Tableau yesterday. So Christian Chabot, their CEO, was on stage. We obviously bring the great data. They bring the analytics part. We have a great framework around how, what we're doing with BI to enable business users to, to really benefit from Informatica's great data. How do you guys message this to the customers because it's complicated. I mean, we always try to tease through and squint through all the noise, but also complexity. Like, data now is a first class citizen, it's an asset. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter's research is uh, talking about digital capital and Wikibon, and it's complicated, but you guys are simplifying obviously with the software. What do you, what's the key message to customers? How do you guys sit back in the war room of Informatica and piece it together? Mm -hmm. And you guys are going to hear from Jim Davis, our new CMO. So he has a five stage enterprise data competency model. So it really is going through the steps, right? In terms of people, process, technology, and culture. And how do those meld together to really put data at the center of what companies do? So Jim likes to say data isn't the exhaust that's uh, produced from operational systems. System, it is actually the competitive advantage now, whether you're in marketing, whether you're in IT, the business, finance, et cetera. I love the term data democratization. Um, I don't like data lake. Peter's actually the opposite um, <laughs> from my perspective. Um, but talk about those two dynamics, because in this digital transformation customers, data has to move around a lot in an organization. Yeah. You need to have the master data, which you guys have you know, based your business on, but now new kinds of experiences for developers and customers around moving data around, whether it's on Amazon or whether it's providing access to third parties um, outside the network. Yeah. Data's flying around. What do you guys see there? What's the key message there? 
So there's so much data disruption at this point in time, whether it's M&A, big data, real time, which you'll hear a little bit more from Jerry Held. Um, so the key is really to put data at the heart of all of that um, and bring together all the various players to say, okay, how do we make sense of this? How do we trust that data? How is it cleansed? How we can have a single view of our customer to make business decisions. So that's going to be really key. And one of the exciting announcements is we're announcing a, a marketing data lake. So we've been doing this for the last 18 months internally. So we want to market to our customers more effectively. We have you know, 750 million names in the database. How do we make sure that we have the predictive analytics to say they're already using our DI product. What are their next steps? How do we know what they're doing on the website? How do we do some lead scoring with them? How do we use some predictive scoring engines? So it's really an exciting thing and we're productizing that and uh, going to market with Deloitte. Talk about what you've guys done with the marketing cloud, because obviously that's an area we cover heavily. We love it because we think you know, social media, social business mm -hmm. will be the next wave of how engagement happens with yeah. your customers' customers. Because they're on mobile, they're on, on, on the network, they're, they're consuming content non-linearly. It's not the old linear model of cable or email marketing. Things are completely shifting. Absolutely. What did you guys do internally and how did you get to the point where uh, this has been productized? Yeah, so we're looking at our customers holistically. So if they come to our website, we understand what pages they're looking at, what they're downloading. We're asking them for their Twitter handles, right, so we can monitor their activity in social media. We've got a great retail customer who is using us in our MDM application to make sure that they understand their customers online. They can understand them in the physical store and the catalog. So it really is having that holistic view of the customer to say, okay, they are a customer of Informatica, they're using A, B, and C, what are their next steps? Um, what can we offer up to them? What? How has that changed the role of marketing in Informatica? Oh, drastically. So um, we've always tried to be close to our customers and we, we do great email marketing, but that's not enough anymore, right? So we are doing a lot more via, via Twitter and LinkedIn and serving up ads via Facebook um, and having a flow where we can understand someone has downloaded something or has clicked on a click on social, has come to our website and done something, all the way through understanding what they're doing um, through Salesforce. So it's seeing the entire life cycle of the customer. It's pretty powerful and our reps love it um, because it's a good upsell, cross-sell. So we have a scoring engine where we can say, point people to the A leads and the B leads and the C leads, so those A leads have an SLA that we can call them back and we can offer them something very quickly. Why is Informatica so hot? You guys sold out the show, but I mean, vis-a-vis -vis all the choices your customers have, why is Informatica hot? Why are you guys winning in the marketplace? You know, Besides being private, by the way, that's a good move. Uh, <laughs> yes, I think it's been a great thing to help us transition. But Informatica is really moving to, towards those business level discussions. Data is no longer just in the bowels of IT, but everybody, it's a board level discussion now. So um, we have an executive summit uh, later today with 150 CIVA level execs um, talking about where data is going, how it's instrumental to their business, and how they can gain a competitive advantage. So it's really important to, um, to those execs to really embrace it, um, and it's not just something that uh, the CDO or CIO has to worry about anymore. And in terms of like, just by the numbers show, you took a couple, 3,000 people, what kind of breakouts are going on? What's the, what's the, um, the knowledge here that people are learning? So it ranges. So we have five different uh, summits, ranging from a big data summit and an MDM summit, a cloud summit, a, digi a digital disruption summit. We have our executive summit. We've got 1,500 various hands-on labs. So those are for the practitioners and developers. They can come, they can work on Power Center, they can talk to their peers, do a lot of networking. So it's everything from hands-on all the way to the C-suite. So uh, you'll see Informatica really changing and evolving and, and again, um, delivering that business message. And how many announcements are you guys launching with the news cycle here? What's the, what's the, give us the, some of the stats. A couple, handful, dozens, yeah, we've millions? Got, uh, we've <laughs> got 10 announcements, um, and they range from the product announcements, so I mentioned Marketing Data Lake. We've got our Summer Cloud announcement. We've got a, our Intelligent Data Platform announcement. Um, and some other stuff that we're doing is we're doing a nice CSR activity today. So we're partnered with Second Harvest Food Bank for San Mateo and Santa Clara County. As we're packing 3,000 snack bags for kids um, in the area, which is and wonderful. So which ones are new, new news, like new products, and which ones are 
additional enhancements to existing products. So the marketing data lake is brand new. So uh, if folks walking around the show, you'll see we wrote the book in terms of how we're delivering uh, on that promise uh, and really helping marketers get there. Uh, we've had our power center platform for, that's been our lifeblood for the last 20 plus years. So we continue to evolve and whether you need that platform in the cloud, on premise, for hybrid, we'll deliver it whatever way you need it. So I got to ask you a personal question. You're in the comms business, so communications has been one of those things where you go out, you know, you work on messaging, you work on the press release, you communicate the value of the of the, of the business to customers. How have you seen personally seen the industry change? Because now it used to be you double the few reporters. Now you got to deal with a zillion bloggers out there. Now you have people different touching the company differently. Has it changed your job? And over the past ten years or so, and what are you guys doing to change your comms? Is it not more integrated into the go to market, some of the product marketing stuff. I mean, I'll see the whole world's changed. I'd love to get your, your personal view on the digital transformation. Oh yes, absolutely. Media has changed dramatically. So we have our, our tried and true folks that we still talk to, right, in, in terms of the business press and we love talking to them and having those big picture conversation about where data is going. And we've seen them be more interested in Informatica um, as we've moved away from just pure product level to data and the partnerships that we do have out there. Um, but yes, bloggers um, continuing to work with industry analysts who are obviously hybrid folks um, and doing things more digitally, connecting, um, making their job easier, making sure that we have research and great infographics and um, understanding their readership and their challenges um, and being respectful of their time and really giving them the best stories. Um, you know, one great example, you guys are going to be talking to JLL who's a great customer. Uh, they own millions or billions of square feet in real estate, so they're transforming their business in terms of ingesting IOT data for their buildings um, to really help their clients be more efficient. So you'll, uh, you'll love talking to them this as, week. As you guys go out there with all the noise out in the marketplace, you know, it's very limited time to get the attention of the prospects and customers mm -hmm. to get them to know what you guys are all about. So while you're here on theCUBE, spend a minute to talk about what is Informatica all about. So Informatica is 100% focused on data because we know that the world is running on data. So we want to be indispensable to every customer out there, whether you're an SMB, whether you're a Fortune 500, who really needs to understand data and understand that it can transform your business. So we're focused on data quality, we're just focused on data integration, we're focusing on master data management, so all of those elements that, can, that you can go talk to your C-level and say, I can make trusted decisions about my business based on this data. So I got to ask you a question kind of on a, on, a, on a personal note and also as an um, uh, executive at uh, Informatica, there's been a big trend we've been seeing on theCUBE around data democratization, which is one of your messaging points. I want to get your thoughts. What is data democratization and how has that changed some of the interactions because now it's going outside the business press and business yeah. world to be more global, more um, society oriented. Yeah. You're seeing things at like the UN, you're seeing parts of the world. I know Jerry Held's involved in a nonprofit. We're going to yeah. talk about that briefly. But now you're seeing it beyond, become more than just a business issue. Mm -hmm. What is data democracy? And, and Facebook's been getting a lot of pressure lately for hoarding all the data. And so we want to open up the data. That seems to be the theme. But you're seeing outside the business world, a lot of the philanthropy, you're seeing societies and governments becoming more um, focused on this, like smart cities. Can you comment on the trend there and what is data democratization? You know, to me, and, and I look at it as my world, um, I, in marketing and com communications, has there's been so much more data that's coming to me real time. So I look at it, I look, I'm constantly looking at social media streams, I'm looking at Omniture, I'm looking at Salesforce reports. Um, so how do I make that most sense of that data? And I think that, you know, the internet and uh, what's been happening with social, it's just been so powerful, to, whether it's uprisings, whether it's, you know, changing the world, it's been really, really powerful. Powerful. Uh, Jerry Held will talk about um, his yeah. organization and the work he's doing on the board in Africa of bringing uh, the power of Amazon-like uh, technology there. So pretty, pretty yeah. cool. And business models are certainly changing. That's a business impact mm -hmm. on the digital transformation now. Yeah. Kind of government and or society is changing. Yeah, it, it hasn't, uh, and it will only continue to do so. You know, whether it's the U.S. general elections, mm -hmm. right, and more young folks getting galvanized, um, whether it is, you name it. I mean, the, it's major catastrophes in the world. People are able to crowdfunding, crowdsourcing, right? Um, yeah. It's really changed the world. You guys have been very much involved with obviously data, database guys, mm -hmm. so you know, DBAs and whatnot, mm -hmm. people doing all kinds of data stuff, and you know, the, the history has always been data driven at some capacity. Now it's a little bit more chaotic, if you will, more faster, mm -hmm. real time. Um, 
What's, how much focus on the developers do you guys see with Informatica? Because now the developers are taking a much more active role in the creative process mm -hmm. to use the data differently, but not yeah. so much what the database guys say. Are you seeing a lot of developer focus within Informatica and can you share some, some color on that? Sure, so we absolutely do work with developers and that, you know, we, we're big believers in open source, so if you heard Amit's keynote, we're talking about Spark, we're talking about Flume, we're talking about real time. So they are, we've got a lot of hands-on lab here, so we have those real practitioners um, who are designing the infrastructure for their environment. So they are still a critical audience for us. We are a, a products and solutions company, so uh, we team with them um, all the way up through the the, the CIOs and the CDOs, so um, it's great. Informatica can sort of talk the spectrum. We, we walk the talk in terms of technology, but we also can solve those business great. challenges too. Hey, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE, appreciate it. And thanks for having theCUBE. We'd love to extract the signal noise. We'd love your focus, the data. We love data, we're data driven as well. And thanks so much for coming on theCUBE, really thanks, appreciate John. it. Thanks, Peter. Okay, Thank we you. are live here in San Francisco for exclusive coverage of Informatica World 2016. I'm John Furrier with Peter Burst. We'll be back with more live coverage wall to wall, two days here in San Francisco after this short break. You're watching theCUBE. Hi, this is Chris Devaney from DataRobot.